Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be filming a Christmas haul um, over the things I picked up here and there over the holiday season. So we're going to just jump right into it and I'm going to start off from the things that I got from Sephora. The first thing and the thing that I was most excited about that I got from Sephora is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Ultra HD Foundation and I was I got the shade 123 but I am actually one shade one shade above that 125 and um I got I had to get this one because they were sold out but the only difference was is it had a little bit more of a yellow undertone to it and once you blended it out on your face you couldn't see it at all so um this foundation is amazing it's literally looks like the prettiest natural skin that everybody wishes that they could have. It's flawless, it's so lightweight, and it's super buildable to a super coverage, uh, super coverage? A full coverage foundation. Um, it's definitely worth your money, and if you're looking for a new foundation, I suggest this one. And I think it, I, I go back and forth from being oily sometimes to dry, but since it's winter right now, I'm kind of dry, and it really didn't really make a difference. It didn't it didn't patch up on my skin anywhere, nor in the places that I got oily did it look like an oil slick. So, oh. <laughs> the next thing I got, which I just realized started spraying again because when I first got it, it was clogged. And now it's spraying. So that makes me very happy because I thought I was going to have to drive all the way back to Indianapolis to return this. But now that it's working, I'm super excited to try it to see how it works as um, a pore perfecting primer. So, if anybody else has this, tell me how you like it. Um, the next thing I got from Sephora was Velour Lashes. This is my first set. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They're so pretty. Um, I think if this is the name of it, it's another S, which I don't know what the heck that means, but... I don't see a name anywhere else on them. Um, I haven't tried these out yet, but I'm super excited to. They look so pretty, so natural. Yes. Okay, the next thing I got was a Smashbox um, lip gloss, but I think it's their like matte lip gloss line. And I can't tell you the name of this because I can't read that small on the bottom. But this is their um, like pinky shade, I think. And I have not worn this yet, but when I worked at Ulta, I wore the plum shade that they have, and I really liked it. It felt really super comfortable, and this is more like a Barbie pink, so I hope it looks like that on my lips. I hope it doesn't look any more pink than that, because I'm not a huge pink person at all. So, I'm excited to try that out. Um... I also picked up the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Cult. This is a super dark green. My eyes are hazel, so when I put green on my eyes, it really pops. So I'm super excited to try this out, too. Um, the next thing I got, it was a stocking stuffer, and it's the Smashbox Full Exposure. Um, this is the travel size. And I really like this because I can just pop this into my purse because it's so small. And um, on a day really long after school before I have to go to work, say hi to Baron. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Hi, Bubby. Isn't he gorgeous? Yes, he is. Oh, I, I cry. I'm sorry. I'm so sidetracked. But after a long day of school and before I have to go to work um, at school, I get tired. I go like this. I touch my face like crazy in class. So it's really super nice that I can have something to touch up quickly with. Um, so I'm super excited to try that out also. Um, moving on to ColourPop. I got the um, Kitty Collection from ColourPop. And this is their um, best-selling, their liquid lips, uh, whatever they call them, but it's a liquid lipstick from ColourPop. And um, everyone complains about how tiny they are, but honestly, like, I love how small they are. You can just pop them in your bag really quickly and go with it, you know? Um, and also, if you're not really sure if you're not going to like the shade or not, 
this is awesome because you didn't waste your money and buy a whole tube. Granted, the tubes are only $6, which is a hit for what these are. Um, I believe that I think the formula of these are great. I wore them shopping um, for a full day. I ate and they never did anything. It was just on my lips. Granted, they do feel a little bit drying, but you know, you know that they're just staying on there. So, to start off, this is um, the shade Beeper. And it is kind of a taupey shade with brown and a little bit of pink undertone to it. I love that color. It's really pretty. Um, the next one is the shade Clueless. This is like a mauve pink with a gray undertone also. Just the slightest gray undertone. It has more of a pink to it though. The next is called Tool. And this one is so much darker than what it seems like in the bottle. It's a like almost a brown with a purpley pink undertone. Maybe a hint of red. Maybe. Hint. This next one is called More Better. My high wire trainer used to say that's much more better. Good English, right? Um, and it's a very berry shade. Um, super berry. And the last one is called Creeper, and it is a red shade, and it has a little bit of an orange undertone to it. Just the slightest bit, but it's very, very red. You can see a lot of orange, actually, on camera. Okay, and then also from ColourPop, um, during the holiday season, they were selling little gift sets um, that had a lippy, a lippy pencil, a lippy stick, and a lippy primer. Um, I got the shade Brink. Um, I have that on my lips today. I really like it. It's very comfortable, very smooth. It's a matte um, lippy stick, lippy pencil, but it doesn't feel super drying. It's actually super comfortable. Um, the lippy pencil is amazing. It glides on so easily. It doesn't tug at your lips. It's perfect. The lippy stick. This lippy stick. Great formula. It's very pigmented. Very true to the same color that the lippy pencil is, but the smell of this shit. Ugh. No. It's sweet. It has like a first hint of like a sweet smell, and then some type of like chemically chemically smell hits you, and it's intoxicating. It's not in good, not good intoxicating either. It's like makes me want to gag. But I like the color so much that I can't help but to wear it anyway. Um, I'm kind of used to it now, but when you first put it on, it's very overwhelming. So just be aware of that. I haven't tried out the lippy primer yet, but um, this just still smells sweet. It doesn't have that chemically thing to it. So um, I guess that these work, The if you put the lippy primer on it, works really well. But, you know, I didn't have time. Next, um, we're going to move on to MAC, and another thing I got my stocking stuffer was this um, little trio here. Um, this is like a white silver, this is a blue with some silver in there, and this is a, like a gray with some blue undertones in it. Um, they are super glittery, and um, that bottom shade is my favorite, definitely. Um, not a huge... I'm not a huge, like, glittery person, to be honest, but every once in a while, like, a nice pop of glitter on your, um, middle of your lid or just all over your lid is really cool and nice. Like, for New Year's Eve, I wore this, and it, it looked really nice, so, um, this is called Lapsicus, I think. I don't know how to say that. I'm really bad with, like, pronouncing all this crap, but it was really nice. Um, another thing that I got, well, I got a Z palette. This is my first Z palette I've ever had. And, um, I got the Black Lars Z palette. Um, when you open it up, my, is it falling? 
I have a few in here. Um, this is um, Makeup Geek Peaches and Cream. This is Makeup Geek C Creme Brulee. This right here is a MAC shade that I picked up, and this is a MAC staple shade. The Makeup Geeks are also very stable shades. They're great um, transition colors, and so is this. It's called Soft Brown from MAC. And it's such a great transition shade. And I can't wait to play with this little guy. This is called Brown Script from Makeup Geek. No, I'm sorry, MAC also. And I can't wait to make a bomb ass cut crease with that because it'll be super nice. Um, I also got this from Sephora. I forgot that it's in here when I was talking about my Sephora stuff. This is um, a blush. And this is called So if Euphoric, 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 I can't say that. Um, it's a very subtle, not very pigmented, on my skin tone at least. But some days when you just don't want to pull, put a whole lot on your face, like BAM, I have a ton of makeup on. Um, that would be a really nice shade to put on. And um, Sephora came out with a line that actually came, came in this. And there's a little divot right here to where you can just pop that right out and I love that because you don't have to melt the back of it to get the glue coming off and then risk the chance of taking whatever you're digging it out with all the way through the center of it so I was really happy with that. Uh, a few drugstore things I picked up just recently. Um, Wet n Wild came out with a new brand. Um, this is um, the Pro Lime Felt Tip Eyeliner and you know what? Wild is a very affordable brand. Very, like, I think this was $2, maybe $3, something like that. But when I put it on my hand, you see how black that is? Like, holy shit, that's so black. So I can't make, wait, oh my god, I can't wait to make a bomb ass cat eye with this. Baron? Baron? He's staring shit up. Great. Another thing that I got from Wet n Wild was their Color Icon Blush in the um, shade Pearlescent Pink. Um, I was very hopeful for this, which I still am because when I felt this, when I swatched it, it was so creamy. So creamy. And I expected, I expected it to be super chalky at first, but this color... It looks pretty peachy and pretty neutral on there, but when you like swatch that bitch, it's so, so, so pink. And I'm not a huge pink freak. So I think I'm gonna take this back and exchange it for the bronze color that they have because I feel like that would just be so pretty. So let's hope. I'm gonna probably take that back tonight and get a different one. Um, I also picked up, um, people have been raving about this, the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm, and I got sensitive. So I'm trying this. I'm going to try this as a makeup primer. And it comes in a bottle like this. And honestly, the smell of it isn't that bad at all. Like, not bad at all. I mean, it does smell like a man. does smell like a man, but like when I put it on my hand and I rubbed it in, it um, it didn't smell that strong anymore. So I'm really hopeful for that. I hope it works because um, this is only $6.99 and this little bitch here was $15. And this is just a Florida brand and this is Nivea. So, and this is a huge bottle. So I'm hoping that turns out to be hopeful. To be hopeful that didn't sound right. And last but not least, I got an entire Morphe brush collection. These brushes feel freaking amazing. They're so soft. Uh, they almost feel like like the uh, Pro Elite collection. They're so nice. The only thing that I absolutely hate about this, these brushes don't have names on them. And I wish that they did. And when you go online, they don't even tell you online what the names of these brushes are. So, I'll get past it because these are bomb. So, it's such a huge collection that I go from like a huge fan brush all the way down to the tiniest little eyeliner brush you could ever have. So, I'm super excited for that. And I'm not going to use them until I um, 
finish my makeup room. My boyfriend got me, um, like, a makeup vanity. I got, like, the Alex drawers and stuff like that for Christmas, and I'm super excited. I'm super excited to do do that whole extra bedroom that we have, paint the walls, and put some, like, shelving up so I can hang my purses and put my shoes on some shelves, and, ugh. So excited. Uh, I'm going to put Chanel clothes all over the wall because it's not a makeup room without Chanel clothes. And that's also why I'm in the kitchen because my kitchen has the best lighting. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I would love to know what you got for Christmas too and what you feel about if you have any of the products that I bought and how you feel and how you review them. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.